Hey guys, Pugas like 29 here. Welcome to episode number 23. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to set the server MOTD. So, or before we have the, uh, we were able to set the MOTD that's broadcasted when someone joins, but now I'm going to show you how to modify this one. Like, you know, that shows up on your server list. I'm going to show you how to modify that. So first we're going to go ahead and change our config and we're going to say MOTD and we're going to rename this to in-game and we're going to say this one is server and we're going to call this my server. Okay. And also we're going to add support for colors in this one. And out of game colors are a bit different from in game colors. So, alright. Now let's just go over here and quickly fix this. And this is going to be MOTD dot in game and dot set MOTD dot in game. And then, you know, we can also change this to in game. MOTD and we'll call this system MOTD and that system. Okay. So now let's go ahead and add our cmd.getName that equals in our case set system MOTD. And then again, we're going to go ahead and do this. And now, uh, this could come in handy. You could do an MOTD.set in game and MOTD.set system, different ones. And uh, so you could do some more permission stuff there. And actually, you can just go ahead and copy and paste all of this. And string MOTD. Uh, set MOTD.system to MOTD. And save config. Okay. And now what we're going to do is this is actually a an event. So at event handler, void on server ping. This is a server ping list event, I believe. Or no, sorry, it's a server list ping event. List ping. And uh, okay, good. So now, simply, you're just going to say e dot set MOTD get config dot get string MOTD dot system. Now you might want to add a in the config add a toggle to say if you want the system MOTD to uh, be controlled by this plugin because not everyone would want that. So now we're just going to go ahead and quickly add our colors. So actually, you're just going to copy this and say string MOTD equals that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to say MOTD equals MOTD dot replace all. And you're going to replace and with. Uh, I'm going to pause this for a second and just get it because it's a bit of an odd character. Alright guys, I got it. So right here where it says replacement, you're gonna go ahead and do that. And it is uh this it is backslash U00 A7. And don't don't ask me why it is this. Uh it's a bit of a long story. But basically this is it, and then whatever number or letter follows that is going to be the color that it is set. And there we go. Now the last thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to change the MOTD color here. So we're going to say string MOTD equals get config, get string MOTD. And then we're going to say MOTD equals MOTD that replace all and with this weird little guy who is option 6 on my Mac, and then MOTD. And that will handle in-game colors. 
And then we're also going to have to do, oh sorry, this is uh, MUTD dot in game, and we're going to have to run it here too. Oops. MUTD dot in game, and this is going to be MUTD dot system, and we'll go ahead and call this system. And then we'll say system equals system. And then this in game MOTD will be MOTD. And MOTD will be system. And okay. All right, and then one last thing, I'll just go ahead and do it, is right here, when you're telling them what it was sent, what, what it was set to, then you're going to do this, and then you're going to set this to new MOTD, just so that it'll show them what it looks like with the colors, so that they'll know that whatever colors they supplied did work. And this is system. Okay, so that should all be good. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's go ahead and start up the server. I already have Minecraft open, and I'm going to go ahead and add it, my local host server. And, oh, it looks like we have an error. Let's see. This is line 27. Ah, I see. Let's just go ahead and give them colors by default so that they're not white. And, okay. Ah, oh, looks like we have another error again at line 27. MOTD dot. Oh, I see. It's MUTD.system. That's the problem. And so we should be able to reload, and we might need to delete the configuration. No. So as you can see, our out-of-game MUTD now says my server in green. And if we go ahead and join, it says, welcome to the server enjoy. So let's see what's up with that. MOTD dot game. MOTD. MOTD dot in game. MOTD was MOTD dot replace all and with that. Oh, I know why. It's because uh, we need to delete the configuration. And now, if we go ahead and. Sorry about this. Reload. And then I leave. And then I join again. It will say welcome to the server and joy in green. And if I do uh, set MRTD and be welcome. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, set system MRTD to and be server. Sorry. Oh, that's right. We did register the sets. Set system number TD and it was set system number TD. Okay, this is all debugging and all these episodes I do out of my head because I more or less know what I'm doing. So when I make these errors, you just have to stand by. So as you can see, we'll go ahead and leave and when we ping it, it now has server in blue. When we join, it says, welcome in blue. So there you go, guys. You learned how to set the out-of-game server MOTD, and they also showed you guys how to add colors to your out-of-server MOTD and your in-game MOTD. That's all for this episode. As always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.